just say 20 times 2 is 80 Yeah, um, I will say any mistakes I make like that I am not making them on purpose So please call them out And then you high five whatever you do Well, <laughs> I'm very tired, I haven't slept But we'll get through this So, the next one is Again, a bit simple But there was a reason I wanted to bring you back to this one Okay, I'll just straighten the light and draw on because otherwise it looks unneat and you know, a bit of the OCD. So, three times two. Uh, what you may correctly identify as indeed six. But the reason I wanted to bring your attention to this one is because how many different ways can you make six? Because you only have to think about like three times two, oh that's six. You just get it. But how else can you make six? Yeah, one times six. Yeah. What about twelve? How can you make twelve? Yeah. You can do one times twelve. You can do two times six. You can do three times four. You can do like a lot of them. I mean, I did just name them all, but uh, there's a lot of different ways to tackle that. Just like there's a lot of different ways to tackle a problem. Like that's that's what I'm trying to drill in. In case that was not obvious by now. Is that there's so many different ways to tackle a problem It's just like there's so many different ways to think of a number So like if there's a number like 48 You can break that down You can take it out You can even take a 2 out So like 2 times 24 You can break it down even further than 24 You can do like Again 2 times 12 So that's 2 times 2 times 12 You can keep breaking that down You can get to 2 times 2 times 2 times 6 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 So then you get like 4 2's times 3 and I equal 48 and for some people that can be like a better way of thinking of it also just for reference you'll be taught this later on but those are called the um, prime factors of a number do you know what a prime number is? I can, I can explain it just in case a prime number is a number that you can only divide by its own self and 1 so for example 5 See if you can you divide five by two? No, no, you can't. You can't because it would be like two and a half, but that's not allowed. So five divided by two doesn't work. Five divided by three doesn't work. Five divided by four doesn't work. Five divided by five gives you one, and then five divided by one gives you five. So prime. So five is a prime number. Prime numbers are literally just numbers that you can only divide by themselves. So like five and one themselves and one. So those are little things like that's what I was doing with a forty-eight. So forty-eight, and if you want to do multiply primes together to get a forty-eight, it would be four twos, and then a three. So two times two is four. Times two is eight. Times two is sixteen. Times four is forty. No, times three is forty-eight. Sorry. So that's just that's just a good way to think of something, and I think it may help in the next problem. Um, because. This one's a bit of a step up and I know that you're struggling and that's the reason you're here but I, I want to try and not only get you up to the level that you're at but like push you a little bit because nothing's lost than you know if you're behind on work or something like that and then I come here and I just like baby you through it and just keep you slow like we want to try and get you caught up we want to try and get you ahead of people so that like you've got a bit of leeway like to maybe slow down and take things in more you know what I mean yeah, plus we don't have a lot of time here anyway, so I just want to battle through it. So this one is actually a bit bigger, so 42 times 9. Now, you don't know your 42 times table, do you? Not a lot of people do. I am blessed to know it, but, you know, that's just normal stuff. I'm just kidding. So... 42 times 9, that's a bit scary, isn't it? Yeah. But, but, there's a trick we can employ here. If I was to say 1 times 10, what's that? 10, exactly. If I was to say 
but say say this almost nine times too. That's it. Yeah. How could you represent nine times two in a different way? No, not the factors. I mean it would be two times three times three, you're right, which is great. You won't learn that for a while, so like good job. But if you were to do two times ten, twenty. Minus 2, 18. So if you do 10 times something, minus that something, then it will give you the same as 9 times something, won't it? So like, what is 3 times 9? So, yeah, 27. 27. But if you do 3 times 10, it's 30. Minus 3 is 27. So that's, that's another way to get there. So for this one, that actually helps because you know, 42 times 9 is not exactly a very nice thing to do. But 42 times 10 is 420. Minus 42 would give you what 42 times 9 is. Do you see where I'm coming from? Do you want me to explain a bit more? Or... You get it? Great, great. That is great, honestly. I just, I'm going to make a little note because um, I've got like, I need to tell people what we actually did here. I know it's boring, but... That is very, that is very well done. That is very good, honestly. If I add gold stars, I'd give them out, but I do not have them downloaded. So I'll just take a, take a high five. There we go. Okay, so, can you do 420 minus 42? You know, I've got an idea. I think you'll like it. Use the iPad. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So you just wanna, you just wanna try and figure out. You can always do subtraction. I've been told you're pretty good at it. Yeah. I hey, take as much time as you need. Honestly, I'm here all day. Well, not technically, but you know, I mean, that's that's a lot of time. Uh, I'm just gonna take a couple of paper notes. Actually, there's a reason that I, there's new there's a reason that I took a notepad. Uh, I'm still a pencil. here so that I can put them into the iPad when you're finished. Also if you need any help just let me know. So 420 minus 40 is 
that to someone else if you can't think of you know great words like someone else that doesn't change the fact that you are going to have something you are great at that no one else is you're going to be able to hold on to that you're going to have such a creative talent you're maybe going to be musically inclined you're maybe going to be an actor maybe you're going to be a writer maybe a philosopher I don't know maybe you don't know what a philosopher is by example big job good job just some kind of job but you could have like a great talent that no one else has that no one's even thought of yet so don't let any of this get you down plus you're with me now so you're automatically gonna pass <laughs> okay oh that's that's the bell um, the bell there you go i will say i do like the silent bell a lot more it's quite it's quite peaceful <laughs> 